Hello everybody, welcome to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and today we are going to be checking out a mod. The mod is known as the Caterpillar Tracks mod and I found it on the Curse website. Uh, the project manager for the mod at the moment is Nuclear Turkey and he said, he admitted, good, that he actually copied the mod, well, merely fixed slash updated the mod. So this is not his mod originally, but he's just fixing it. So that's good. Uh, well done. I don't think that he has updated it uh, recently. And it doesn't say that it supports 0.24.2, but it seems to be working. Uh, so I guess we should just continue. If you go to the utilities tab, you'll find the four parts. And these are where all the Caterpillar tracks are located. Uh, you have variable sizes. So we have Mark 4, Mark 3, Mark 6, Mark 5. I'm wondering where Mark 2, 1 and 2 is, but uh, whatever. <laughs> I guess that's not included. Uh, now keep in mind this mod does appear to be in alpha state at the moment. That's what the curse site says. So yeah, let's, let's quickly try this out. All right, let's launch it. I did play for about five minutes, just messing around with the parts so I can at least get what's happening here. Uh, it's a pretty simple actually. It is simple. I'm gonna change to docking, docking mode, as that is usually easier to maneuver such a thing. And if you actually right click the Caterpillar tracks, you'll find that you get two options. You have the enable cruise control, which would just have a set speed. As you can see, set speed 4.6 meters per second. And if I increase, it will remain at that set speed. So that's really good, uh, useful feature. Haven't seen that before. It'd be interesting to see if you could do that with a jet engine. Hmm, I'm wondering if that would work well. Probably not. Uh, if we go to change control type, that would change this rover thing. So we'll go to, the next option is general. You see general, and then you have the rover mode. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. Uh, actually, general appears to be more faster. Uh, not exact same speed. I'm not entirely sure. It's It must have to do with the control. So you know how we just changed the docking mode, which allows us for better control. Yeah, probably something like that. But anyway, as you can see, we are not moving extremely fast, which kind of makes sense because tanks usually don't move very fast. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's go change. Let's go check out the next part. Whatever mark that is, which version? Mark three. Okay, what size is that? This appears to be slightly smaller. Yes, it is. Okay, let's do that. Pop that down. It looks interesting. We've got, what are these suspensions or something? I don't know. I do not know the science of the Caterpillar tracks. We can right click it and we have the same options as the previous Caterpillar track, which is what, like it was Mark four, I think. And this one, what's, well, where's the electricity coming from? Okay, so it's powering. We can just, we can't disable these, unfortunately. Okay, well, this seems to be working. It doesn't seem to be any faster than the previous Mark IV that we used. Uh, Oh well, I'd expected this one to be a little more faster. So this is Mark 6, and then we have Mark 5. We'll check out Mark 6, which I assume is a little larger. Oh no, it's small. What? Wow, okay, that's tiny. Hmm, interesting. A pyramid set of tracks designed by Tutankhamun. Wow, we've actually got descriptions. That's a nice description. I like and can we right click oh okay here we go breaking torque 10 don't know what that is uh maximum revolutions per minute okay so this one seems to be a little faster than the rest Mm-hmm. okay well that's good to know and yeah this one does have electricity as you can see it says electric charge but these two do not okay so this one doesn't need to be tried out we we already know what's going to happen but let me show you a huge one Mark five. This guy has electric charge of 2000 and that is oh, that's the same amount as the other one, but this is huge. <laughs> Look at this. Damn. Wait, can I place it? Can I, it's not letting me. 
All right, I'll remove this battery. It's unnecessary. Wow, okay. It is quite large. And I found out, I was wondering what these things were here. See this, these two flat panel things. I thought they were lights before. So I, I you know, to try to turn on the lights, but nothing was happening until I realized, wait a second, you can piece both of these things together. But uh, wait, that didn't place properly, did it? Wait, yeah. Is it gonna work? Okay, you know what? You didn't see anything. Don't mind me. I'm just doing my thing. Place it down properly. Why isn't that working? That's weird. Why are you not place? Well, it's, it's touching, but it seems to be overlapping the part, even though we have the that part clipping on doesn't seem to be working properly. Okay, I have a solution to that, I think. Let us go to the structural. Wait, let's see how big this thing is. Nah, a little smaller. What about this? Okay, that's going to be a weak point on this thing. Can we put anything else? Nope. I think one of the Rocket Max fuel tanks would... Oh, that's a little big. What about this? Okay. Let's ha turn on symmetry if we can. Not... No, no symmetry. Okay, and now... Oh, I think it's because we have two connections. We cannot make two connections at the exact same time. Only a single connection. No, not even that. What? What the hell? I don't understand it. Let's try the... Oh, well, that works. That's a little weird. Okay, put that down there. We're probably going to have a problem with fuel I don't think fuel will be able to reach this so we're gonna have to use fuel ducts wait let's see on oh, them placement yeah okay there we go that's good and I think I don't know <laughs> we're gonna we have to have some a serious amount of wings but let's see if we can place wings on this let's see oh well that's a little weird wait is that on the inside it is well that's actually Wait, on the top here? What about here? Ugh. That looks weird. Okay. Well, what? Ah, oh, okay. I know what that problem is. I know. I know. There we go. Okay, that's a start. Now let's just pop them down like that. Give us some lift. Yeah, there we go. That's a start. And, yeah, I think this will work. I, th I think it will work. Yep, it's a pretty ugly looking tank now. Now it has some serious vulnerabilities. Use a large, why not? We're using jet engines, aren't we? Yes, we are. Put them down here. Well, this is a little weird. Obviously, symmetry is not working again. Why are you not working? Some of you are gonna be like, heretic, it's not working for a specific reason. <laughs> I'm being silly. Okay, that's, uh, that's gonna weigh down a little. Eh, not so bad. Okay, now let's get a few duck clicks. Let's see if we can sort of connect this somehow. Wait, bang to... It's really weird looking through the inside of this thing. Okay, and bear with me while I, while I struggle. Wait, did that really get... Oh, that really got placed. How did that get placed? I didn't left click it. Some of you are getting dizzy. I can see it. It's like, oh, heretic, you're making me dizzy. <laughs> All right, I don't know whether fuel will go to this. We will have to test it. Ah, uh, that might be enough fuel, but I do know is that we need more wings. Yeah, there we go, okay, okay. Yes, there we go. All right, that might interfere with the wheels, but that's a start. So what I'll do is I'll continue development of this weird thing. I, and you know, that's what I'm gonna call it, weird thing. Good name. Thing O. Weird thing O. Yeah, that would do. Very nice. And yeah, I'll be back in a, a second. Alrighty. Now, this is my first try of this ugly looking weird thing. <laughs> I only have two of these fuselages. And I have four turbojet engines. I have a couple uh, SAS things. And. Yeah, a whole bunch of wings, that's about it. All right, so, 
No! Well, that was... You can take it. Well, pff, stupid of me. Okay, well, at least the fuel reaches the the turbo jet engines, but now we just gotta do the the ram air intake, yada yada yada. Symmetry, damn symmetry. Yeah, symmetry was a problem. I had to place everything on top and on the bottom because that's where symmetry is actually working. Everywhere else is not working. I mean, I'm not expecting this thing to actually work, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's only like only as of oh, okay. It only has a mass of 30. Alright, engine's on. It is moving. This is a plane slash... Why is it turning? Why are you turning? I have... Oh, man. I'm holding down S. Why are you freaking turning? Okay, I know why. <laughs> Another thing. Pop that down there. Yeah, that should do. And get a control surface. More problems again. Let's see what needs to be done. That that seems okay. It's a little high. If we take this off. Hmm. All right. Well, that should help out with control. We'll see what happens. Why do these things keep on breaking? <laughs> what? Uh, I can I can imagine as to why, but damn. Oh wait, Ooh, that should have been done. Let's press my button there. Okay, good. Forward, I tell you. You know what? Maybe stage... Ah, you know what? I was using docking mode. That's not very good for planes. Ah, Wings are breaking. Okay, I'm still holding down D, but it doesn't... I'm holding down A now, and it doesn't do anything. It's just turning by itself. Okay, this thing... Oh! What? It's in the air! What? Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's a start. <laughs> that is a start. Okay, well, I guess I'll try to fix it. Okay, well, what went wrong? It went into the air, and then it fell straight down. Why? Well, we have do have these in the back, and they're on an angle like that. Perhaps we should fix that. Perhaps get a few more control surfaces. Uh, let's get, yeah, let's put, just put a whole bunch. Why not? Yeah, right there. Help me. Okay, good. And I know the, the lift is meant to be behind the center of mass, but I mean, how do we fix that now? Maybe get something to weigh it down? What needs weighing? <laughs> I don't know. Take these off for now and let's put a, a fuel tank of some sort. What about this? How does this look? No, we need more than that. This. Ah, yeah, yeah. Extra fuel. Ah, those things are still breaking. That's reducing the lift. That's a problem. Forward, I tell you. Forward. Yes. Oh, what? Why are you turning rapidly? Wait, staging, docking, docking. Ah, oh, they're still breaking. I'm holding down S. Okay, there's a bit of a ramp here. That could help. We're gonna fly! It actually works! Oh, we lost two engines. Whoa, at least we're in the air. That works. I'll try and land this. It seems somewhat stable. I think the advanced SAS is doing its magic. Are we gliding in a sense? Let's limit the thrust a little. Just enough to propel us forward. Okay, I don't think we can get very far with this. Fuel is already running up. Oh, well, it's draining, we're not running up. Okay. Let's see if we can turn. We don't have docking mode on. Okay, good. Just checking. I'm holding down S. Doesn't appear to be working. Perhaps we need to increase in speed. Right all up. Air crash. Aircraft disasters. This isn't an aircraft. It's gonna be a disaster very soon. <laughs> Good luck landing. Yeah, I wanna get on a runaway, but the way things are going. Oh man. I'm holding down S. Nothing is happening. If I let go, what happens? Hey, this thing actually glides quite well. 
somewhat. It's not too bad. I mean, we've lost two engines. I must say, it's doing more well than I expected. Alright, but it's going the wrong way. <laughs> Alright, let's go that way. You know, we're not going to be able to land on the runway. The way things are looking. Oh, great. We're going to crash engines off. Glide, I tell you. And we'll test out its gliding capabilities. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not too bad. It's actually working. A flying tank, finally. This is very unorthodox. Alright, we should not turn too much because we might fall down and... 56 meters per second. Alright, we'll throw it up a little. Will that help? Are we... We're still decelerating... No, increasing in speed now. Okay. Oh, great. We're going to land here. Not intended. Full speed ahead. That's going to make us rotate to the left. But I want to see if we can lift off a little higher. And my answer is yes. Okay, good. And maybe we can rapidly turn right here. Runway's right there. Okay. Engine's off. Okay, that's going to make us crash. All right, all right. Things are looking dangerous. We are getting awfully close to that light. Stupid light. Who ever put that light there? Okay, we're kind of on the runway, but we a little off in a way. All right, I think we've made it. So let's just do the finishing touches. Let's see if we can lift off here. Hold down S. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> a flying tank crashed into the building. Now that is fun. Okay, guys. Well, I do hope you enjoyed this mod. It's a it's an interesting mod if you're interested in making uh, tanks. That's what it's for. Or for flying tanks as we did today. You can do that there as well. All right. And these wings are going to take a while to land. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.